Hi, Hi guys. guys. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> I'm sure by now you are all up to date with our latest news. Where do we start? Well, obviously, me and Mike are expecting our first child. Pregnant. Well, we are pregnant. <laughs> We I've been wanting pregnant. to say that for the longest. I've been holding Mike it. Mike loves to say that, so you got so, it out there. But yes, <laughs> exciting I'm times. There. It's way too long. Da, da, da. What's the start? This is not TikTok. Listen, okay. this is YouTube channel. Anyway, YouTube. <laughs> so, first of all, you want to probably know like how did we find out? So basically, uh, I returned back from Nigeria, and I had an appointment with a doctor. And um, prior to that, I had taken two pregnancy tests. One was positive and one was negative. Mm-hmm. So there was a half and half chance that I was pregnant. Right. So the next thing to clarify it was to have a blood test. <clears throat> so I had the blood test, um, got the results back, and I got told that I am expecting. <laughs> I was in, I was in, I was flying out that day. That very same day, she got the news. I was um, on the train heading to Miami for the Super Bowl. Whoop, whoop. So I was already uh, on my level. So I was feeling good. I'm heading to the airport. I get the call. Now, mind you, I knew she, was, she had a hospital visit because she had like a stomach bug from what she told me. So I was like, okay, are you good? You know, she's like, you're going to be a dad. I was like, no. <laughs> I'm, on the, I'm on the train and I'm like, um, obviously in a crowded space, um, I get this news and like so many emotions ran through me like i could hear I was so overwhelmed I could hear your smile through the phone it like, was so funny if you've ever seen the scene of pursuit of happiness when will smith is coming down the stairs and he just and that's how i felt you know i just felt so i've never been so elated for 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 such good news and i didn't realize how much i, I wanted to be a father until I was told I was going to be a father. So for any of you guys out there uh, in my shoes, you know how I feel. It was just, man, like I hit the lotto. Yeah, because even when I was given the news, the ner- I started crying. Yeah. Uh, that was my first emotion. And um, I cried and, sh- and she was like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm happy. This is happy tears. Yeah. And I was like, have you been trying for a long time? I was like, no, I've not been trying for a long time. However, with the career that I have, it was kind of put on hold. Uh, and yeah. now it's just, and I never thought I could get pregnant. That was one thing. And then to find out, woo, that I'm pregnant, I was like, yes, <laughs> this is exciting. I can't wait to tell my husband. Yeah. Um, can't wait to tell my mum, uh, my mum-in-law, because... Um, after telling Mike the good news, yeah. the next thing we decided was call our parents. Let's call our mum. So Let's call our mum. We called our mum, and she was just kind of like, "Why are you both calling me on a three way call?" Um, so she was like, "Well, go on." And we we told her news. <laughs> My mum was so happy. She was so happy. Mum was so happy. She was calling me the whole Every- rest of the day. I mean, mind you, I'm on the way to the airport. So you know how security checkpoints and all this. And my mum was like, so. So my mum was the like, mom was asking your mum was asking some funny questions. She's like, "Do you want a boy or a girl?" And we was oh, like, yeah, "You know, we like, don't. You don't we, care right matter. now. It's right. just a blessing." Yeah. And then my mum was like, oh, "I'm so happy." <laughs> my mum was, was smiling, you know. Um, yeah. And it was she was able to able to come with me actually for my first scan, yeah. um, which Mike wasn't. And so wasn't yeah. Able to so be be, before with. we get to that, there's obviously been a uh, twist of events you know, happening um, worldwide. So the global pandemic was just on the horizon. So I missed the first scan, um, being the fact that I was in Nigeria. Um, and I, for the most part, almost missed the second scan because I was quarantined in Nigeria right before they closed the border. So I barely made it out in time. It's just been unthinkable. Unthinkable. And reality hit me um, when having the scan. When I heard the baby's heart beat, I was like, wow, there's actually something growing inside of me. And yes, wow, that explains the weight that I'm gaining. Yeah. Because before that, prior to it, I must say, Mike did not believe me that no. I was pregnant because I was sleeping. Always sleeping. Well, always eating. And always miserable. And he just, just thought, that's, that's, this is just you anyway. But so- <laughs> you got to imagine, there's been, a, there's, been a, there's been a lot happening um, to both of us. Um, this time last year, I was getting ready for our wedding day. I just got out of the Big Brother house. My wife just, just retired. It's like... <laughs> like You're always crying and always yeah, emotional so about I didn't, things. I couldn't, I couldn't put a finger on it. It's just been, you know, I get a testimony. So it was so good when you was actually in my presence 
when you when you got back from Nigeria and now in the UK with me because I would be explaining things to Mike yeah. and Mike's like it's not it's not like that here in Nigeria and I was no. like well UK's got these type of pro- protocols and you know you might not be able to come um, back into the UK so you, can't, you need to make haste and get yourself over here meanwhile I'm at the AMCA just, just, <clears throat> his yeah. mum had words with, 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 with yeah. me and his mum were putting pressure on him so. I mean I, I literally I made it in Four days before, um, prior to them, um, clo- mm-hmm. four days before they closed the border um, in Nigeria. So I could have easily have been in Nigeria right now. Um, and I don't know how I would have handled that, you know, because... And with all what's going on with, with the COVID-19 and stuff, there's um, certain protocol and people yeah. on the vulnerable list. Yeah. So I come on under on the vulnerable list. Therefore, I'm not really outside of my house or in contact with with people as much as I would like to. Um, so basically, I had a scan, actually. Yeah. I've had a scan during this time, and um, they were saying that no one can bring their partner with them. But, I mean, this is a big deal. I mean, Mike, I want Mike to experience it as, as just as much as me. So mm-hmm. we went to the hospital, Boy. and we were acting like, 007. I was like, I didn't know Mike because I was like, I need to get to my appointment. Ninja. You do what you have, whatever you have to do in order to get into this room. Because I already missed the first scan. I wasn't trying to miss the second scan. Well, you made it to the um, waiting room area. I got to the waiting room. The only guy there. Yeah. Mike's tall as ever, but made it so far. Yeah. And then then the nurse um, called my name out and Mike's still with me. And then she was looking at my notes and she was like, you know, guys, are not, no no partners yeah. are allowed to come. And we was like, but please, it's my husband, you know. Yeah. And it was like, they wasn't having it. So Mike had to sit outside. I, um, I went and I went in, you know, had the scan and, um, you know, they take the measurements and make sure certain limbs and organs are growing correctly. Um, all good. All, all, it was all good. And we got a, we got a photo, so. Uh, I'll show them. Show them. <laughs> so at this point, I don't know if you can see. At this point here, we actually can find out. Zoom in. If it's a boy or a girl, but. Should we tell them? <laughs> the sex of our baby is. Stay tuned to the next episode. <laughs> we can't give you all on the first episode, but um, we, we actually it. don't know. We, don't we, know. we have the results. We it's, have the results. It's in my notes. It's in our notes. Like, I might as well share the news. And yeah. baby's doing well, you know. Yeah. And I can't believe it. I'm going to be a baby mama. Oh, my gosh. Hey, <laughs> you're going to be a mother. I'm going to be but, a mom. Um, thank you guys for, for always showing your support. Um, we really appreciate it, especially during this time. Um, so we have decided to share this journey with you guys. Yeah. We know that many people have had children yeah. and been first time parents, but we just want to kind of give insight because our journey will be different to others. Uh-huh. So, so you know what to do. You should. We're not going to be like them couples that say like, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. <laughs> but you know, like, subscribe. You know, and you know, if you like this stuff, you know, send us a comment, show, um, drop us a DM. We're always on our social media, so you, you, we can easily be reached. But, um, but yeah, um, we're excited. I hope you're excited. Um, dang, we're gonna be parents. Yes, we are. <laughs> Guys, that's all for the first episode. And um, wherever you are in the world, remember, stay safe, um, show love, and appreciate the moment that you're in, because. Nothing's guaranteed. Bye.